Hello and welcome back to the channel. In just a few weeks, Nano Banana has blown up from designers to common people using it for everything from miniature figurines to AI portraits. We've already shared two videos on exploring the use cases of Nano Banana for architects and interior designers. And in this one, we will dive deep for even more use cases. Don't forget to watch the other two videos so you can keep up with this rapid updates. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so we can create more amazing content like this. So let's get started. Miniature Design Models We have of course seen these miniature figure portraits all over the internet, but we can use the same technique to create an engaging visual narrative of our designs using miniatures and drawings. I have this image of an elevation of a villa. Let's see how this can be made more interesting by showing it with miniatures and also as if it's under construction. I've started a new chat on Gemini AI Studio and make we have selected Nano Banana. Upload the elevation image and type in this prompt. An architect's desk showing the full design journey. On the desk in the foreground, there is a sheet of large paper with 2D elevation of the building. Next to is, is a miniature model of the building. In the background, through a large window, the full-scale real building is visible under construction in the finishing phase. Natural lighting, photorealistic textures, cinematic composition, ultra detailed. In just under 20 seconds, we have a very interesting image with a great composition. We see that the image we uploaded shows as under construction with scaffolding and people working. Right when we move to the foreground, we have a desk that overlooks the building and on it, we have a sheet of paper with a CAD style elevation drawing. On the right, we have a miniature model of the villa. That's a really cool way to convey your designs with a narrative. You can experiment with different styles like blueprints or cardboard models and more. The possibilities of this is endless. You can paint your own custom narrative based on your design and context. This can be used in advertising, presenting your work on social media or even on portfolios. Placing designs in aerial views. Now we don't need costly drone footage to show our designs in aerial views. Here's an example we'll be using for this demonstration. Just locate for your site on Google Earth on which we can add the design. If you are able to get a 3D view of your site from Google Earth, well and good. But if you are only able to find flat buildings around your site, no worries. We can fix that with Nano Banana. Let's just take a screenshot of our site and open the image in Photoshop. Let's just use a simple brush to mark the boundaries of the site. Both the rendered image and the site image needs to be in the same ratio. So I'm adding it over, cropping them and saving it as two separate square images. Head back to Gemini Studio and firstly, let's turn the Google Earth screenshot to a drone style image. This will add more details, depth to the screenshot and make it realistic in a few seconds. We can see how crisp the buildings look around the site and the realism is top notch. Let's now ask Nano Banana to turn this into an isometric view. Now, let's save this image, open it in Photoshop once again and mark the site with a red boundary. This will help the AI understand the context of the building. We can now upload this image along with the elevation design and ask the platform to add the design into the site. We have the results and it looks great. Of course, the red boundary is still there and the villa is facing the other side and not the road. But these are because our prompts weren't detailed enough and not the AI's mistake. We can re-prompt to remove the red line or just remove it in Photoshop in just a few clicks. Here's the final result and let me know what you think. Now before we move on to the next use case, I want to tell you about my exclusive masterclass on rendering realistic flow plans with Nano Banana and Photoshop. In this one hour complete masterclass, we'll be turning our CAD plans into high quality renders quickly and accurately. You will also be getting a PDF with different prompts that can help you render your CAD plans in different styles. What used to take one day will now be possible in 10 to 15 minutes. Check out the Gumroad link in the description to access this masterclass. Flow plan to interior end. Let's see how to seamlessly create an interior render from a simple floor plan and a mood board image. I started off by marking the room for which we want to create the view with a red line in Photoshop. 
Let's save this image and add it into the chat. Let's also upload a simple mood board which is of a children's room in soft pastel colors and references for the furniture elements like beds, shelves and curtains. Here's the prompt I've used and I've tried to describe the elements in details specifying the furniture placements, ceiling designs and lighting. Click run and here's the result. This is a really good render with pleasant lighting and details. The realism is definitely there and also all the elements look workable to be made for actual construction. But according to the floor plan, the wardrobe isn't here but it won't be visible in this angle. Again, it's not AI's mistake because we had mentioned to add a wardrobe in our prompt. So I ran the prompt once again and Nano Banana made these revisions seamlessly. The Add people to renders. Here's the reference image we have chosen and since this has a lot of interesting play of lights and shadows, this would be a great way to test Nano Banana's capabilities. Let's add it into Gemini and for the human figure, we have picked this image. This lady wears some bold colors in the shirt and apron, so it should be interesting to see how the platform blends it with the base image. The prompt is pretty simple and I've also specified to blend it harmoniously and place the lady on the right near the window. Click run and to my surprise, the result was exceptionally good. It has blended the human figure extremely well and you can see the shadows of the window frame fall on the person realistically. And even the person's shadows are added seamlessly in the interior. Extract architectural elements from an image. Let's pick this image of a public building and as AI to extract the elements. For the reference, I've added a photo of few columns arranged on a white background. Let's add prompts to extract it like an encyclopedia page and arrange them in sequence. Click run and the platform has created the reference image in an illustrative style along the elements of the image arranged below. Does it stay true to the base reference image? Not really. But still, this is a great workflow if you want to extract architectural details from an image. I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you did, please hit the like button and share this with your friends. Don't forget to check the masterclass where you can learn how to create architecturally accurate floor plan renders with Nano Banana and Photoshop. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.